am here with a functional nutritionist. All right, this is Miss Risa Gru, and we are going to get into her new book. It's called Food Frame Diet is a four-letter word. I want you to help me first understand the title. What are we talking about when we say a food frame? So the food frame is my methodology that okay. I created because I've worked with thousands of people and people really struggle with what to eat. Okay. Not every diet type is right for every person, so I do blood tests and stool tests mm. to determine what their uh, their health status is and we eat according to that. Uh, we, oh, go ahead, go ahead. We address root causes and, um, and eat uh, according to that and so the body can start to heal. Are we still in this mindset so often? Do you find you try to get people out of it? When we say diet, people think I need to go on a diet to lose weight versus I need a diet to live out the rest right. of my life, right? I love that you said that, <laughs> yes, because that's why I created Food Frame and I believe that weight loss is a side effect of wellness. Mm -hmm. So I highlight six different diet types in Food Frame uh, that really cover most health statuses. Okay, let's go. This is a good looking table here. So we're talking about paleo, a paleo diet. We, we hear about it, but tell me who this is best for. So this has the most broadest appeal, right? Mm -hmm. It's also known as the caveman diet, mm -hmm. right? Because we're eating kind of like our ancestors did. So we're eating really good quality animal protein, unlimited vegetables any way you want them except for fried okay. and then some nuts <laughs> and seeds and good fats um, sweet potato and yams and a little bit of berries or, or some low glycemic fruits uh, but what kind of folks if you're dealing with what kind of conditions this would be good this for is you? great anti-inflammatory diet for anybody with inflammation or any blood sugar dysregulation all right let's go to this next one uh this looks pretty good too here. We're talking about this. I heard this and I had to look it, look it up. Yes. Uh, but a lot of people have been talking about the FODMAP, the low FODMAP. Am I saying that right? Yes, you're okay. saying it exactly. What FOD, is that? FODMAP is an acronym and it basically stands for carbohydrates that are fermented in the system in the yeah. small intestines and water uh, gets absorbed in those intestines. So that can cause a lot of bloating or gastric upset. Okay. So this is really good for people with small intestinal bacteria overgrowth mm -hmm. or people with IBS or IBD, irritable bowel syndrome. Mm -hmm. And this is a very, um, it's an elimination diet, so it's 30 to 90 days. And the stricter you are at the beginning, the better off you are. Okay. It's not calorie restrictive, but it's a little bit portion restrictive. Okay, explain the thing you said, 30 to 90 days. You're only only for that long, and then you're, you're kind of good to go, or you might need to bring it back next year. Then exactly, you, okay. you can repeat it, and this is, if your symptoms return, then you can always hop on ah. it again. Then yes. again, what kind of, explain what kind of stuff I see. So some again, great animal protein. This one has some grains like rice and quinoa, some um, seeds, a little bit of nuts, but moderation is key here. So you can have some fruits as well, mm -hmm. um, but moderation is key. All right, let's turn to the next one. The, uh, why is the vodka here? Uh, because this is keto. <laughs> And no wonder Robot loves this diet so much. No, um, our, my co-anchor is not here today, but she has been strict keto for quite a while. Yeah. Uh, so explain again. We hear it all the time, but what are we talking about? So keto diet is when your body goes into the state of ketosis, and that means you're burning fat for fuel. And it's really great, but you have to have 70 to or more of percent of your diet in good fats. Right. Um, this is very restrictive of, as for carbohydrates. You really don't want a lot of carbohydrates or sugars, so you really want to focus on fat. It's a, uh, you can have select alcohol in moderation and some berries. Coffee is allowed, but all the cheese and the bacon and eggs you want, <laughs> this is great for those people. Well, for those folks that might like this, but what kind of uh, folks with what kinds of conditions? Who, who might this be good for? So this is really good for also blood sugar dysregulation. Okay. Um, this is great for that. And um, all of these diets you will lose lose weight, but I believe that weight loss is a side effect of wellness. So we're really focusing on wellness. And again, the only one here, you said 30 to 90 days on this, but these others can essentially be lifestyles, right? They can be lifestyles, get. yes. I typically recommend uh, uh, keto for about uh, three months, huh. but you can do it long term. Okay, all right. Well, Risa Gru, all right, well, thank you for joining us. We want, yeah. folks, you can pick up a copy of the book, Food Frame. It's in stores now. Also, we want folks to know, of course, you should always take time to, yes, listen, listen to Risa Gru, but you should also check in with your own physician, your own doctor, before you make uh, maybe a lifestyle change and want to change your diet. So, exactly. always good to put that out there. Thank you so much for being in thank studio. Thank you for here having with me. Us. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.